All right, it's time for 90% Silver. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Florida Stacker back with you. It is Junk Silver Wednesdays, 90% Silver Wednesdays, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Here on the channel, we're going to be unboxing 90% silver on Wednesdays. So let's get to it because we got a brand new order here. This one I already popped open and I think you're really going to like what's inside. It's kind of a continuation from some of the nice stuff we got from Aiden Coins last week. So let's go ahead and get to that right now. All right, so popped it open because it was a lot larger envelope than I'm used to getting with my 90% silver order. And in this order, it looks like we do have some dimes here. We'll go ahead and bust those out in just a second. But the main thing I wanted to show you is more of these packages here, these mint packages. So thank you, Aiden Coins, for sending these. We have got now a 1964 Denver set. You can see the John F. Kennedy half dollar there. Also have the 1964 Denver quarter, the nickel, which does not contain any silver, but the dime does. Here's the dime, 1964 Denver dime. And of course the penny there, all coming from the Denver Mint. So let's go ahead and flip it around. These are BU, perfect condition. Super nice, thank you so much. This is the 1964 Denver set. So let's go ahead and sit that over here to the side. And we'll grab the next one. And this one's coming from Philadelphia. And this is a 1956, wow, 1956. Benjamin Franklin half dollar there in BU condition, also a 1956 Washington quarter. Really nice looking 1956 nickel and the dime. So once more, another set here, thank you, appreciate it. So 1956, we've got a good little collection going now. Two more, let's get to it. Actually three more. So this is a Philadelphia set. I have a little tarnish there on the Ben Franklin. 1959, Philadelphia quarter, half dollar, and dime. Super nice. Super nice stuff there. So 1956, 64, and now 1959. And I'll show you these in closer detail in just a minute. And uh, this one's a 1960. So we got the 1960, and this is coming from Philadelphia, 1960 quarter, 1960 half dollar, and the dime, as well as the nickel, of course. And last but not least, another Philadelphia here, and this one is a 1961, so we've got the 61 Franklin, the 61 Washington quarter, as well as the 61 Roosevelt dime. Wow, super nice stuff. Thank you, Aiden Coins. Appreciate you sending this. This is really neat stuff. So let's go ahead and get to the dimes. All right, so we got a little dime bag here. It's been a minute since I picked up a dime bag and that's exactly what this is, a bag of dimes. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the bag and see what we got inside here. Go ahead and lay these dimes out. So yeah, real nice stuff getting those mint packages, huh? Got a 1964 Rosie. And I will need to look at my calculator and see if there's any more of my tubes of silver. If you've been following me along on the 90% journey, let's get a better look at the Barber Dime. Then I am actually filling up tubes of these. And once I get enough to fill up a tube, well, I fill the tube. And then I throw that in the safe. So stacking away the 90% silver, got a 1947 Roosevelt Dime. 1947. I'm sure that was an interesting time in the world. Uh, 19, probably a 64. Yep, standard 64 Roosevelt. Good junk silver right there. We need those dimes. Fractional silver. It's already currency. People know it's money. And that's exactly a good reason uh, to consider the dimes, quarters, and half dollars. Is It's silver. Uh, it's not stamped silver, but for those that know, it's silver. It's fractional. It's going to be the lowest premium fractional silver you can pick up. And, um, you know, some of y'all don't like it, and that's okay more for me and for those of us that do 1952 roosevelt dime 
Looks like we got a D mint mark or Denver. And looks like we're getting to, ooh, there's a New Orleans mint mark. That O down there is a New Orleans mint mark. Barber dime, one dime. And 1906, pretty slick down. It's like a little wafer of a dime now. We've got a couple left here. Ooh, another Barber dime. This one here, 1892. Look at the toning on that. It looks nice, doesn't it? United States of America, 1892. No mint mark, a little good toning there. Coming from Philadelphia. All right, let's take a look at the last two dimes here. 1956, Rosie. And last but not least, 1959. Good year. So let's go ahead and push this stuff over here. And once more, I'll give you a better look at these packages. So now we have once more the... 1963 set, 1963 coming from Philadelphia. Pretty cool, huh? I think this stuff is super cool. I really like the toning there, especially on that dime. It's got pretty good toning there on the dime. It's a little uneven here on the quarter. All right, pretty nice. Let's go ahead to the next 1964 Denver. Some toning there on the half dollar. And this is cool stuff. I will not be taking these out of the packages, okay? These are gonna stay just as they are. Uh, 1964, Denver again, so is that two of them? Yeah, so we've got two of the 64 Denvers, which is good because uh, most of this stuff is gonna end up in my, my kids' collection box. I know some of you are like your kids. And uh, yeah, so I'm stacking, you know, three and four nines fine bullion, 90% silver, gold, uh, platinum, the more modern day stuff and the junk silver is part of my silver stack. But when I get some of these nice collectibles in, uh, these are things that I don't want to get rid of, right? And I'm not going to bust these out and, and put them in tubes. So I'm not really considering these as part of my savings, okay? This is part of my collection and I'm really trying to get my kids into it and this is a good way to get them into it. So it's mine until they're ready to move out of the house, but I do have some boxes that I'm uh, filling up with some random stuff. Uh, for them, so lucky ducks. All right, so we got a 1956 set here, and this one looks real nice, doesn't it? 1956 Philadelphia, real good shape. It's like BU, brand new, better than the stuff uh, you're getting from the cash register when you go out and do your shopping, right? So really nice looking silver there. A couple more. Let's go ahead and get to the 59 once more. Good year, 1959. And yeah, really cool stuff. And then we've got the two that we got last week. Unless I kind of intermingled them. I might have done that. But uh, we did get two last week of these mint packages. So with the 1960 Philadelphia set. And last but not least here on the sets once more. 1961. 1961. Really nice stuff. Uh, you never know what you're going to get when you buy 90% silver. And you definitely don't know what you're going to get if you're shopping with Aiden coins because they just they send the best variety. I've gotten state quarters from them, the more modern silver quarters coming from the states. I've gotten uh, slabbed uh, coins from them in the past. I've gotten uh, BU coins from them in the past. These came from Aiden in orders uh, last year, these 1962. You know, very nice looking proof quarters. Not going to touch them. Uh, the bottom line is, is uh, with 90% silver, unlike, you know, stacking your more uh, typical three and four nines fine modern day bullion coins bars, uh, the majority of the stuff that you're going to see out there on uh, the silver market, right? When you're shopping, it's it's going to be the same. The only thing that's going to be different is the year that's stamped on it. And uh, those years are probably not as vast as the number of years that you can get uh, stacking the 90% stuff. So, uh, what do you think about today's order? Uh, as mentioned, if you are interested in watching uh, every Wednesday this 90% uh, silver saving series, then go ahead and uh, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification. We'll get these videos out around 6 p.m. every Wednesday. On Tuesdays, we're going to be working on some American Silver Eagles uh, for the next couple of months. And uh, on Thursdays, so come back tomorrow, we're going to unbox uh, generic silver rounds and foreign silver coins, looking to keep those premiums lower while also stacking weight for 2022. Uh, great stuff here. 
And if you're interested in saving 5% on ordering $5 in face value of 90% silver down in the video description section, so go ahead and read down below. There is a link to Aiden Coins. Click that, go ahead and use the coupon provided in the video description section, and you'll save a little more than $5 off of your $5 in face value purchase. Okay, that is the minimum. And make sure you use that link I'm sending you. If you try to just go through their website, you may not get the savings. So thank you all, really appreciate it. I'm here to help you guys out and show you what I'm doing. Uh, really excited about 2022, and hopefully you are too. So have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you soon, actually tomorrow with five ounces of silver. Until then, my friends, keep stacking. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.